As we all know, video game movies and, you know, anime live action series have been the new norm now. And recently they've been really good. I can't speak too much on how they've been in the past, but the current video game movies and TV shows have been really good. Honestly, I'm not even sure what ended up happening recently because, again, you know, they've been really bad back in the day. But now it's almost as if they're taking it a bit more serious or they're including a lot more people who really do, pl one, play the video games or look into their books and then watch the animes and other things. So I think that's what they're starting to do. And they should have been doing that from the very beginning because there are a few really bad game adaptions. Recently, the Fallout TV series had released on Amazon Prime, and I'll be honest with you, I was a little skeptical at first. And when I ended up seeing the first trailer, I was like, okay, you know, I can, I can vibe with this. And then it came closer and closer to it coming out, and I was getting a little bit worried because, you know, all of the attention started to die down. Even I stopped paying attention when it was coming out. And then it dropped every single episode on Amazon Prime, and I was like, it's time to binge this. So me and my friend ended up watching the first episode, and I'll be honest with you, I instantly got hooked. I'm not sure if it was the main character because she did an amazing job as, you know, our protagonist. And so you have three main characters that you're supposed to be paying attention to, and each of them have their own separate storyline going on. And of course, eventually it ends up colliding with each other, and you know, they all end up meeting with each other, and then things start to happen, basically. Without spoiling anything, things happen. You know, you have Lucy, who's a vault dweller, and she grew up inside of a vault, and she's basically lived her entire life inside the vault. Something ends up happening to where she ends up needing to leave the vault, and this is her first time being up in the surface. She has no idea how everything is because, again, she's lived her entire life down there. Then you have Maximus, who's a part of the Brotherhood. They're the guys who run around in a really nice armor, and they basically clear out the area. And, you know, he decides to join them so that way he could become one, but Currently, he's a squire, where he basically helps out the person in the power armor suit. After that, you have the ghoul. And he was the most interesting character to me because he didn't really look too much like a ghoul, but they kind of explain that as the story progresses. And I think out of everyone's story, I think his is the more interesting one to me. And I'm sure other people would agree with that because, again, he, he's your more mysterious character. You want to know what happened. He was born 200 years ago, and I was like, okay, he was born 200 years ago. Why is he still here? And you know, they kind of play on that and you don't really figure that out until later on, but it pays off really well. So I think they did a really good job with his character. The guy who's playing him is also really funny. You can kind of recognize who it is. Of course you see it beforehand, but with all the makeup and everything when he turns into a ghoul, you, you can just tell it's him from his voice, the way he acts, it's just, he's hilarious. And I love every single movie and show that he's in. So let's talk about Lucy. At first, I wasn't too sure about her, but then as the show progressed, I was like, okay, I'm really starting to like her. She's this funny character who's trying to take things seriously, but it just becomes funny because she's trying to take things seriously. She has no idea. She's like a child, you know? And I think that they picked a really good actress for her. I never seen anything else that she's played in, so now I'm gonna go back and watch some other movies and shows that she's in, and hopefully I have the same like thoughts on her character because, again, I thought that she was really good in this role. I don't think anybody else could have played this. As far as the world of Fallout goes, I think the set design did an amazing job because there wasn't a moment where I felt like this wasn't Fallout. Every single thing that was going on, all the side stories, side quests, um, the entire environment was just fallout to me. And I'm surprised that they were able to pull it off in such short episodes. Everything just seemed so real and I really liked that about it. So kudos to you guys who did the set designing of this because you really did your job. Same thing with the story because, you know, it's a fallout story. And honestly, they could have took this in any different route. And I'm glad that they went with this way because it would be kind of hard to try and, you know, reel people in by retelling the same stories from the games. So I'm kind of glad that they did something a bit differently, which of course, you know, they threw some little Easter eggs here and there and did some nods to some of the stuff in the games, but they did their own story and I liked it. I think that they did a really good job with that and that I, will, I want to see more. Obviously there's gonna be another season, so I'm curious to see where they're gonna go with that. I do know that a lot of people don't like the fact that, you know, streaming services are starting to drop full episodes at the same time because the attention starts to die down and people move on to the next thing within like a week's time. But sometimes you just want to binge things. And I get it, you know, 
Some people will like the weekly releases because it gives you something to look forward to next week, but just treat it as that if that's the case, you know, don't watch it all in one go. And I'm sure, you know, of course, it's gonna be harder for you to do that because the episodes are just right there. So I understand not wanting to wait that week just to watch the next episode. I'm on the side of having them drop every single episode because it gives me something to watch and I don't have to keep waiting because you never know what's gonna happen. So I like the fact that they dropped every single episode and I wish that the boys would do that because, oh man, like don't get me wrong, I like the boys, but I need y'all to drop every single episode because I get tired of waiting weekly and I don't want another like invincible situation. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed this show. It was it was really good for the fans who like the series and it can also bring in some new fans to watch it. So, and of course, I'm pretty sure more people are playing Fallout now. I actually recently reinstalled Fallout for VR, so I'm gonna be playing that again. And yeah, it was just a really good show altogether. So, what do you guys think? Did you guys like the show? Did you guys not like the show? What would you have done differently? And are you a fan of the video game series? Also guys, we are on our road to 3,000 subscribers. We are almost there. Currently at the release of this video, we have around, what, 2,600 subscribers? So we're almost there. I will be putting my cash app in this video so that way if you guys want to donate, again, you don't have to, but if you want to donate so I can go and watch more movies and have more reviews up on the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Well guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Sunway